Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today it's going to be a game between Eyewater and Corsair, otherwise known as Shuttle and Larva here on Fighting Spirit. The latter edition, bottom left-hand corner, the red Protoss player, it is Shuttle. For sure this is Shuttle because Eyewater is one of his alternate IDs on the Team Liquid. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, it is the blue Zerg player, Larva. Now, Larva, I can't find any connection to Larva and Corsair on Team Liquid or Smurf lists anywhere, but I trust the replay pack I got this from. It's labeled correctly. If you are considerably sure that this is not Larva, let me know in the comments. We'll discuss it, and I'll change the title if you can convince me this is not a Larva. But 540 APM is pretty hard to fake. Pretty hard to fake indeed. All right, so it's going to be a ZVP here on Fighting Spirit. This was played fairly recently. Both these players are somewhat newcomers to the game. They both got started around 2012, at least starting real success, or started to see real success in 2012 here. Uh, compared to, you know, Flash, Bisu, Jadong, they are basically babies in the StarCraft Brood War universe, but they've been doing very well for themselves here. Uh, Larva did end up taking first place in the Donjing Star League Season 2. He 3 2 last there. He's got a 4 1 victory over Cal, also known as Gojila, in 2016 in a minor tournament. And on the other side of things here, a Shuttle has just been doing super well for himself. First place in Africa Star League Season 1. 3 0 Sharp back in 2016. He's also got some GOM TV finals in there too. Took second place in SBB Star League. Uh, did lose 3 1 3 1 to Flash in 2016, but. Really, not much shame in that. And then did beat Bisu 1-0 in the um, now RA Star League there too. So these players are both very accomplished in their own right. I'm interested to see what they're going to do, especially considering the fact that Shuttle over here is not going for the Forge Fast Expand. He is instead throwing down a gateway inside his main base. He's getting a very early gas, and that's a Cyber Core coming up too. So not walling off at all, not going for the early Nexus, whereas our friend Larva has already started his expansion, but the pool's done. So that was a pool first play. Into an expansion, which means some lings are on the way here, too. And yes, three lings, three pairs of zerglings in production for Larva. And zealot production as we get on the other side of the map here, bottom left. This is a four-player map, mind you, so we do need to scout if we're going to find out where our opponents are. Probe comes in and actually goes the right direction first. Comes right to the bottom right-hand corner. Starts scouting counterclockwise, passes the expansion, sees the timing on that, sees the lings coming out, and takes some shots. Oh, nice pickoff there. Nice pickoff by Larva, getting a free probe. Sure, the scout saw where Larva was, but didn't get any other information. Didn't see whether the gas was taken. Didn't see whether there were a lot of lings there. Just saw the number that there were. And honestly, for this stage of the game, that's a lot of lings. Actually, hold on a second. Where on earth is our game timer? The game timer went away. Why would you do that to us, game timer? Come back. All right, so three minutes in. That many lings is a ton of lings. In Brood War. Really can't have many more than that and have an expansion down here. So, no biggie. The Lings are going the wrong direction anyway. If they could get here soon, they might actually put some pressure on Shuttle. That could be fairly detrimental to his economy. Is that a Stargate? Yep, Stargate coming up down here in the bottom left. Covered up by our minimap, which we can remove and bring back if we need to. I know you guys go nuts when I remove the minimap, so I'll try not to do it too much. And is that a... Wow, that's a macro hatch at the front here for Larva. So he's planning on doing a lot with Larva. Ha ha! Ha ha! My dad jokes are accidental, but sometimes they're fairly good. Dragoon out. Zealot out. Another Zealot on the way. Is he supply blocked? No shuttle. Why? Well, he was for just a second here. Lings actually might try to get this Dragoon. And you know what? With the good micro and good surrounding here, might get some damage done, but no, the Zealots come in, they come up to assist, and the Lings decide, we're out. Ooh, nice pickoff. Getting a free Ling there, and really no damage taken. Those shields will regenerate quite quickly for the Dragoon. Now, are they going to push out across the map is the question of the day. The answer is maybe. They absolutely might. This Overlord is scouting on in to see what's happening with the natural base, and still no expansion from Shuttle at all. Also, chasing these Lings around the middle of the map is kind of a fool's errand. You don't want to go... Chasing lings in the middle of nowhere. They're not going to be very pleased about that. And you're not going to catch them either. Even slow lings are not that slow when compared to zealots without the speed upgrade. Corsair going to take down that overlord. Somebody actually counted once and it was like 30 plus hits from this Corsair to kill that overlord. They're so bad against single targets. This ling is going to get in and get the scout off. Wonderful scouting information from Larva here. Sees the Stargate, but already knew about the Stargate because of the Corsair. Obviously. And really, nothing else much going on here to see. But just seeing a lack of higher tech 
can be pretty nice. Meanwhile, there's a very fast Hydralisk den from Larva. Hydra already out. Look at these Hydralisks. Four minute Hydras. There's nothing to kill up here in the main base. The Overlords are all very smartly down here in the natural or far, far away, where it's very hard for the Corsair to find them. So I love that the Hydras, yep, getting some nice shots there. Again, no shields going down. Lings, it's just so annoying to catch out here in the middle of the map. This is a lot of Zealots. Again, this is effectively a one base opener. The expansion's not even done for Shuttle at this point. But he's going to move out, he, or he should be moving out, honestly. I know he wants to deal with these Zerglings, but free probe kill, got the probe kill, and getting up the ramp to, whoa, two of them did. Two of them got up the ramp, and more scouting going on. Sees more Zealots coming out, says, okay, something is happening here. This is a very heavy gateway army, and Corsairs coming in here too, but no sign of a Citadel of a Dune, so no charge lots, no speedy Zer uh, Zealots. And no High Templar either, and no Dark Templar either. So I really like what we're seeing here out of Larva. He's got Lings, he's got a handful of Hydralisks here, he's protecting his Overlords, he's got a Sunken Colony. That said, this is a fairly intimidating Zealot Dragoon army. But I have to imagine, if they did decide to come out with all those Zealots, probably more Lings would come in, probably more Hydralisks would be in production too, and that's a very quick Spire. Quick Spire from Larva. Whatever he's doing... It's a very aggressive play, which I like to see. I like to see Zerg players that are aggressive. Larva seems to fit that bill, at least according to what people have told me. One of the reasons I cast this game is because I have gotten requests for Larva and for Shuttle. And basically, I think that's because they both stream on Africa. And they're both very popular out there. And so casting one of their games where they play against each other seemed like a pretty good idea. So that's why we're here. Forge at the front. This is a very ugly wall, right? These Zealots on hold position... I. Imagine maybe Zerglings could sleep, slip through, but that would be one heck of a gauntlet to run through, getting hacked on all sides by those side blades. So Hydras are out. We've got the speed upgrade. Muscular Augment's going to make the Hydras faster, which is always nice. Speed is of the essence in StarCraft Brood War. The faster your unit is, the more useful it is on the battlefield, which is why Reavers are incredibly slow, but combined with the shuttle, they're very fast. And that's why you get the shuttle. That's the only reason. Otherwise, Reavers would be incredibly overpowered. It wouldn't need any support units at all and just wreck everything that Zerg has by themselves. Spire just about done. Uh, what resources do we have saved up? About five Mutas worth of resources saved up here and indeed five Mutas coming in with three Scourge. All right, so five Mutas and three Scourge, the exact amount of units Larva wanted to make here at about the seven minute mark. Third base finally coming up north here for our Zerg player. Traditional third base location and a ZVP, even in a ZVT is far, far away. You gotta throw up some static defense, maybe some evolution chambers to wall off another hatchery. That's gonna be five hatches on three bases economy for Larva. I like it, I really do. I do like how these links are spread out too to do scouting for Corsair movements, to check for expansions, to check to see if anybody's moving out. Shuttle's been very patient in this game. He hasn't really mounted any kind of an attack at all to this stage. He does have a support bay and he's getting the speed upgrade for shuttles. All right, shuttle on the way here too. I'm liking this and there's a citadel of, citadel of a dune. <laughs> Where is it? There's our shuttle. Muta's come in. Oh, Scourge trying to get some hits off there too. Let me see what we can do. I mean, we're just, we're doing the dance. It's a very complicated dance that Larva decides to go ahead and back out on. He doesn't exactly want to attack in here. So Reaver at the back did take some damage. Did that did the Mutas get some hits off on that? Something like that. Something like that must have happened. I don't see what else would give it damage in its location where it is. So Mutas all stacked up, but that just means they're better targets for the Corsairs. Oh, that was amazing target firing there. These Corsairs, did any of them die? I didn't see any Corsair death explosions. Wow, nice target firing there. Those Corsairs... And staring down them Scourge, bearing down upon you like that, and then being able to kill them all without taking any kills for your you or your friends is dead impressive. Here comes our shuttle. It's got two Zealots inside and a Reaver. Overlord. Not Overlord Scout, but that's a Zergling Scout. Zergling Scout sees what's up. Oh, the Mutas. Man, Scourge getting nothing done here. How about these four Scourge? They get anything done? Zip it, zip it. No. Well, they did shove the drop back, right? Shuttle wasn't able to get the drop off, which is a pretty big deal. Scourge able to live another day here too. Got more Scourge popping up. Six Hydras in production. Getting Flyer Carapace, which means the Scourge are harder to kill before they reach their target, which is quite amazing. 
I think that's going to be a sunken colony. Or yeah, Spore would be pretty nice here too, but sunken. Spore, more to cover that mineral line. If that's what you're going for. So the Ling covering the third base location for shuttle does get picked off. There's a probe here. There's about enough money for an expansion. But throwing down a pylon first and then going for it. So the battle's in the middle. The Corsair count is getting really scary big, you guys. That's a lot of Corsair. I can't even select all of them, but there's at least eight. There's at least eight in there. Is it really only eight, though? Maybe it is. Hmm. Feels like more. But I guess that's because they're all stacked up, and it's kind of hard to tell. So Muta's hanging out. They are very injured up north. They really don't want to engage with anything right now. But if the shuttle heads that way, they'll try to take it down. Cannons, cannon, nexus, setting up for this third. And nobody's really made, again, a really big concerted attack yet. Fourth base is done for Larva in the top right-hand corner, too. Muta's flying around. Scourge flying around. Map control has been ceded to Larva from shuttle for the time being. We have High Templar out. I believe Storm is being researched a second ago. Kyderan Amulet. Plus, fifth to plus 50 total Templar energy. And a Dark Templar's out here too, running around, just trying to get stuff done. Oh, wasting a Scarab on a Zergling. That's actually a fair trade. Larva will make that trade every day of the week. Scarabs are 25 minerals, and 25 minerals to kill a Zergling. That is not very cost effective over time at all. Lurker Aspect on the way for these Hydralisks and for Larva. Hydras running around, split up here. You'll notice they're not very compact. That takes a lot of micro to do that, actually. And see, when they start to clump up here, that is when the Reavers are at their best. That's when the splash damage gets together and really starts to ruin people's days. Ruin Zerg's days and make Protoss days, in fairness. DT coming up to this. Oh, are you kidding? Uh, Overlord just popped out. Dark Templar, no, what are you doing? Not being micro very well, that's for sure. So he goes down after getting a couple hacks off on that Sunken Colony. Sunken Colony can live with it, though. Hydra's attacking this front. Ooh, pretty good hit and a storm. You've got storm and reavers out. This is not Hydra Central. Hydra Central is somewhere else. You gotta go somewhere else to hang out, guys. No loitering on the front porch of this mall. This mall has splash damage for days. Storm is out. Reavers here. Cannons to Corsairs in case any mutas happen to show up. Yeah, are you seriously trying to do this? Oh, look out, Corsairs, though. Still no Corsairs have died. Still on the eight, man. Wow, this control has been insane out of shuttle. He has not lost a single Corsair. I am willing to stake my reputation on that. I don't think a single one has died. Right now, he made eight. He's kept him alive. He's got the upgrades on those guys. Plus one attack is done. How about the ground upgrades? You guys have anything? Yeah, plus one attack is done down there to Queen's Nest on the way for the Hive. No upgrades for the Hydras yet. Lurkers are already out and ready to go. But without the Dark Swarm cover, they're actually not all that great. Get to work. Drones. Get to work. We're going to saturate this fourth base. Queen's Nest actually in the top right. More macro hatches. This is a very macro hatch heavy style. Storm drop. Okay. Storm drop did some work here. Wow. With a Corsair escort. Zealous trying to come in, but surprise. Lurkers. That's not good news. Overlord gets picked off there too. Wow. We, where are you going, drones? You're just running for your lives right now? Very possible. Very possibly that is what is happening here. He's going to try to drop back in here. Oh, these drones are going back to work. Don't do that. Shuttle's waiting for you to go back to work. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Another drop. Storm drop. Storm drop. Ah. Okay, well. Kill the drones on gas, which, sure. Very gas intensive is the strategy. Oh, the shuttle got picked off by Hydras there, though. Nice. Jilly done. Hanging around the backside, waiting for that shuttle to come back in. And then taking it out. That was beautiful. Here comes Zealots with Zealot Leg Enhancement with plus one attack versus plus one armor Hydras. And pretty good split here. Pretty good concave. Trying to make some Lurkers out of the injured Hydras, which is pretty smart because the Lurker eggs are actually fairly hard to kill. Oh, this one only has one hit point. So maybe not as hard to kill as I might expect. Zealots running across the map. Just kind of A-moving at this stage. I don't think they're particularly going with any tar target in mind or being... Really babysat all that much. Dragoons marching out across the map. They've got the plus two ground upgrade along with the Zealots. Oh, High Templar. Do not lose a High Templar to a Zergling. That's the stupidest, stupidest thing. Okay, good. No big deal at all. Lings with a plus one ground carapace. Any sign of upgrades for them? Yeah, working on plus one melee. 
We're not quite there yet. Another Overlord gets ganged up on by this squad of Corsair. Is he, I think he might have lost a couple too when he flew over those Hydras. Might have lost a couple of those Corsair because we are down to six. Another shuttle is present with two Reavers this time. Gotta be careful with this one. Gotta be careful with this shuttle. That is an expensive, expensive shuttle. Ling's running to their deaths. What are you guys doing? I mean, I guess maybe trying to distract while these lurkers come set up a surround on this army. Nice storm. But this 360 surround, what is shuttle doing right now? Still, a lot of lurkers are dying. More lurkers coming on in. More zealots joining the party. Detection is present with the overlords and actually retreating from their position is shuttle. Are these drop lords? No, these are just for detection. They're detectors is what they are. Despite the positioning by Larva, that actually went really well for Shuttle there. Most of his army is still alive. And I guess Lurkers have kind of set up at this fourth base attempt, a little bit, this fourth base attempt of Shuttles. They're going to try to siege it with the Lurkers and maybe not lose too many Lurkers in the process. Although you can hear those death sounds for sure. All right, so it does shut down the fourth base. The army's trying to do stuff here, but I don't know if it's exactly working. And where did our shuttle go? The shuttle might have gone back to try to help defend with that. Because that is where I saw some of those reavers. So the fourth base is shut down by Larva. Excellent job by him. Corsair count is still six. And trying to establish a base down here instead. Another third base location. Did I just hear an Archon morph? I did. An Archon being summoned. Corsair is trying to go after more of these Overlords. Taking some Hydra hits, though. Not what you want to do. Still alive. Nevertheless, that one is very, very injured with only seven hit points remaining. Lings, Hydras, Dark Templar in the middle of this. Two Archons, part of the party. Working on plus three. Uh, yes, actually working on plus three. So major engagement here. Lings and Hydras. Getting rid of this third base attempt, well, this fourth base attempt, rather. Still coming and trying to make this thing work without Dark Swarm, and I just don't know if it's going to happen. I mean, stop trying to kill the Protoss army without Dark Swarm. It's not working out for you all that well, Larva. Yeah, I mean, Larva's making some really poor trades here. Really, really poor trades. Anytime Dragoons actually can help. With this kind of a situation, it's really bad for you. Reaver in. Scarab taking a weird attack path as per usual. Hydra's jumping on in here too. Getting Lurkers up right up close to the Dragoons. As they're taking shots before they burrow. Which is maybe what you gotta do. Corsair's running around this top right-hand base, this fourth base. Getting picked out of the sky there too by Hydralisks. It's 161 to 119 supply. And again, I would say Larva has been more aggressive. It's just not really paying off for him at all. Finally working on Consume. Which is a Defiler ability. Does he have any Defilers? Is what I'd like to know. And according to what I can see here, no. I don't believe he has any Defilers yet. Or any in production. Now just making 10 Lurkers instead. Who needs Dark Swarm? Just, just Jadong. Just that guy needs Dark Swarm. But why would we try to emulate him? Can't think of a reason. Nope. Been thinking about it. And absolutely not. Another shuttle here with a couple Reavers. And still trying to establish this fourth base. Did not go well for him the last time. Because a bunch of Lings showed up and there was not much defense. And shuttle ended up losing this thing quite intensely. Hydras running around. Plus one, plus one on those guys. Working on any further upgrades? No, but there are Defilers on the way now. So that's new. 179 to 159 supply still. Shuttle is up. Again, still trying to make this thing happen without Dark Swarm. Lurkers... Getting some good stabs off from the top right to the bottom left. Another flank attack attempt here, but beautiful storms up there too. Enough hiders remaining, maybe, but there's still a whole ton of storm remaining. Can tell you that much. Archon trying to get into the mix. Already has 12 kills. No, gets focused down and killed by our Hydralisk player. Hydra just kind of standing in right now, and standing in and fighting is fairly okay, but not when your Protoss enemy has plus three attack. Zerglings coming in from the right side, going to pick off maybe a Dragoon or Possibly two. No! One hit point on that Dragoon. Manages to survive somehow. And some way. Dark Templar, once again, just trying to be involved. Running around the middle of the map willy-nilly. But does get picked off there by some Hydras and Lings. With Overlord Detection Support. 152 to 111 supply. Not a good position. I don't think for <laughs> our Zerg player to be in. 
Really need to see a Dark Swarm, man. We're 20 minutes in. I've not seen a single one. This Defiler almost has max energy. I believe it's time. I believe it's what they call time in the StarCraft communities. But yeah, plus three is done here. Plus one armor is done too. Transferring some probes down to the fourth base. It's going to be four bases. Two four bases. Oh, no, 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 no. High Templar. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That one survives, but only just barely. Revenge Storm on that High Templar that died. No, no, no. There's still one here. Look out. Oh, what? Another one hit point survival. Because these guys came in and the priority was to kill them instead of the High Templar. Lurker priorities be dumb sometimes, y'all. Okay, so four bases, four bases. Fifth base is actually done for Larva along the right side. And you know what? He's actually got a sixth base too. Up north. I was wrong about the number of bases that he had, but perhaps they were not quite done yet. And there's really nothing, no mining going on from it yet. Or from these yet. I hear consumes. I hear them. These lings are getting consumed. All right, man. Larva, you've proved you know how to make defilers. You know how to get consume. Getting metasynaptic node, which is plus 50 defiler energy, which is going to be useful. Now it's time to make this thing happen. You do not have enough units, though. Even with the best swarms in the world, this is not enough hydras. Are you seriously engaging here? Oh, you're plaguing. Jeez, but so many defilers dying in the process. I don't know if that was worth it for that plague. I really don't. DT drop in the top right-hand corner. This fourth base is in trouble. Just kidding. There are Hydras. Well, there's a High Templar here too, so maybe not. <laughs> and everybody ends up getting saved. DT's at this right base. We've got a Zealot up here at the fifth base or sixth base too. Good job winning the engagements in the middle here by Shuttle. Is he going to get this thing? Observer picked out of the sky, and no. They're not going to get it. It's close, though. 60 hit points remaining. 60 hit points left on that hatchery. Send, like, five zealots over and just finish it. Just finish the job. Finish him. 190 to 144 supply. Shuttle is in command here. He's looking good. He's doing what you need to do. Storms, Archons, Shuttles, DTs, doing drops, winning engagements in the middle of the map here, too. I mean, this might very well not be Larva, just because <coughs> if Larva is as good as I believe he's supposed to be, I have yet to see a Dark Swarm, and he just can't beat Protoss without good Dark Swarms. A lot of Hydras in the 6th base up north, though. That is a really bad place to be if you are a Protoss army here. That said, maybe with some Storm, you can coat that ramp with the blood of the Zerg. Archon's getting up here, too, doing that splash damage. Storm hitting more Zealot than anything else, but I think this base is in a ton of trouble. Up north, more Zealots joining the party. More Scourge flying around a little bit uselessly here. Ling's on top of this Archon. He does explode! That one explodes before it can even finish summoning. And you know what? Zealot Archon all over this hatch. Can the Zerg player Larva save this one too? I don't know. The answer is absolutely not. The hatchery ends up getting killed there. Ling's trying to deal with this Archon, but you know what? Ling's and Zealots? Pretty good! This Archon's got 24 kills, 27, 28 kills, and these drones, oh my gosh. Oh, <coughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> 37 kills before he goes down, and like 10 drones, and a couple blah blahs. Oh, that hurts my Zerg heart, is what that does. Oh. Got... A bunch of cannons trying to do stuff, but immediately canceled because Lings found them. The Lings are not quite cracklings, but they are still pretty close. You still don't want to deal with them on your buildings, especially not your cannons, which don't benefit from upgrades, except for this one, plasma shields, which they do have plus one for, which is nice. 187 to 140 supply, still up fairly handily is the Protoss player shuttle, and still, okay, Dark Swarm, go. Dark Swarm... That's a negatory Ghost Rider. We're not going to get any Dark Swarm out of this High Templar. Zerglings running up from south to north, trying to replant this base. Is Larva a little bit mineral starved? 
get annoyed. I don't know what that was. What is this? Another shuttle drop from shuttle. Great storm. Beautiful storm. Oh, Scourge finishing off the shuttle after the storms are done, though. I think shuttle can take this. I really do. If he wants it, it's his. Man, that storm is so good against Lings and so good against Hydralisks. So finally a fifth base trying to get established up there along the left side of the map. Storm chasing those Lings away. A maxed out army. See again, these Lings would be great. It'd be so good if there was some Storm here. Exceptionally good, man. This defensive Storm is amazing. Got 13 kills on that Templar. Man, some Hiders coming in to try to help with this thing too. Overlord running down for detection if necessary. Probe's actually under assault here. Larva might be scratching and clawing his way back. Although I don't know that Defiler got a plague down on some of these units. Not many of them though. It looks like an Archon which doesn't matter. A couple Zealots, a couple Dragoons. Not much else though. And Zergling's running to a Reaver cannon line and getting wrecked. All right, trying to set up Siege on this again. He says, I've killed this base once. I can do it again. I am not convinced that's the case. Larva, if that even is your real name. This track reminds me of the campaign of Brood War for sure. Wow. That's a lot of dead Zerglings there. This is so many Archons, you guys. Wow. Wow, this is so many Archons. And every time there's a major engagement, it just goes so poorly. For Larva here, for Corsair here. I mean, finishing off that base doesn't seem out of the question. Top left here is also possibly a target. keep thinking this is like a drop of some kind, but it's a single Scourge that's been sitting there for like 10 minutes now. I don't know what it is. I know going up ramps is not generally considered a great idea, but I think you got it. Although being attacked from the backside while trying to go up a ramp is not ideal. So Shuttle's pulling back here. Especially Archon, they're just big and they have a hard time navigating up these things. One of the charms, one of the charming little quirks from Brood War. Another Plague goes down. Still no Dark Swarm. I like Plague. I really do. But when your army is mostly Archon, they don't care about Plague because they're all shields, you guys. Plague takes down whole damage. Takes down this second number, not the shield number. And you'll notice that Archons happen to be mostly shield number and very little second number there. Very little HP, mostly shields, which is kind of weird if you think about it because High Templar have more uh, they got 40 health themselves, so put two of them together and it turns into a unit that has 10 HP? I don't know. For game balance, sure, but for lore, it's weird. It's exceptionally weird. Ling's trying to take down this base on the left side. Some Hydra's here, too, and you know what? They might actually get it. Man, Ling's against buildings are so good. Yep, trying to hold the line here are some Hydra's while we finish off the Nexus. I mean, it was mined out anyway. Not that you can mine out Vespian Geysers. But um, all the minerals were gone, so I don't necessarily think that shuttle cares about this base all that much. That said, going to clean out the Zerg infestation eventually. Losing pylons is not good, because you can get supply blocked eventually, if you're not careful with those. Another bunch of Lings and Hydras running around. Is that another shuttle? By golly, it is. More Storm Drop! How many drones have died to Storm Drop in this game, you guys? Conservative estimate, like 40? Sounds conservative. Ooh, Hydra gets picked off there. Another storm. Not sure it was worth it. Here would have been a great storm to get. Would have been an amazing storm to get. This is empty now, right? Yeah, everything that was in the shuttle is now dead. Unfortunately for them. 194 to 147 supply. Shuttle gonna die. Oh, don't use Scourge on that. Don't use Scourge. Ah, well, use Scourge on it. 
That's fine, I guess. Guess who's taking the top left-hand corner? Yeah, it's Shuttle. Guess it's going up the ramp. Oh my gosh, a Dark Swarm! Well... Look who's trying to make Dark Swarm happen. Corsair is. That said, the Archon Splash is still effective. Zealots can still do their thing. Reaver Splash, still effective here too. Just try to draw the units out. Storm is probably your best bet. Storm is completely unaffected by Dark Swarm here. Is that guy covered? Uh, no, he was not covered by the Dark Swarm, as it turns out. This is an absolute shellacking here. We're just wandering through this. Storm on top of everything. Archon's doing splash damage on all of the stuff. 161 to 108 supply. This is might be a final stand for the Zerg player. These hiders trying to do what they can, but the Archon damage is just too much. Just too much. Base is gone. Creep is quickly receding from this base up north. And it's Red Central here. Another shuttle. Another shuttle moving out. I mean, okay, there are... Oh, that's actually a pretty good target. That's actually a really good target. All those drones stacked up on that one mineral patch. Get it. I guess we're worried about these drones. Not that you can do much about it. I think they're all dead anyway. No, no, no. Here. I can't believe he missed that. What? Oh, well, okay. That was... That was okay, I guess. But did you see how many drones were stacked up on this patch? And they went over here now? And now we're way oversaturated on this top right-hand base? Yeah, I'd say we are. What the? Okay, so we got a lot of Lings trying to do stuff. They did take out the natural base of Shuttle. Not that they really cared. Again, mind out. There was maybe some important tech there, but nothing too much, I don't think. Where are you going? Why are you going all the way up this way? You're trying to deal with this Archon army. There's no way that Corsair comes back and wins this thing, right? There's just not... This is all that he has left. He has no money in the bank. The storms are too good. The Archons are too good. The upgrades are too good. And every time he engages, he loses like 27 Hydralisks. It's just not a good look. Not a good look for Larva here. Or whoever this happens to be. The longer this game goes on, the more I question whether it's actually Larva. Okay, again, plaguing a huge group of Archons maybe is kind of fun. But I tell you, they don't care. I promise you the Archons don't care. When you're producing three Zerglings at a time against a huge Archon army with plus three and pl plus three attack and plus three shields, it's just. It's not gonna work. It is not going to work here. The storm. Storming his own observer there, I think. That's not ideal, but hey, it's alright. Because you got the good game out of Corsair. And Shuttle is your victor here in 32 minutes. In 30 seconds, DK, Donkey Kong, and a 500. And uh, good game, yo, there it is from Corsair, and we're out. We are done at 32 minutes and 39 seconds. Yeah, again, I just, I would have loved, loved, loved to see more Dark Swarm out of Corsair. I need to Google. I need to Google real quick. Let's see what we get if we research. Well, obviously, Corsair is a unit in Brood War, so why do they... It's always hard to Google people who have named themselves after stuff that exists in StarCraft. Corsair Brood War. And it's going to say, do you mean the unit or do you mean the player? Let's find out. You know what? No, there's not a Corsair listed in Liquidpedia. So I don't know who this is. Again, if you watch a lot of Larva and this makes sense for you, you watch this and say, oh yeah, this is how Larva plays, then all right. Fair enough. We'll call him Larva. But otherwise, convince me it's not because I am questioning it a lot here. Regardless, well played by Shuttle. Not all that aggressive. He did kill this base. He did do a lot of drops and never actually killed another hatchery though, did he? Uh, no, just this one. This hatchery. He almost got the one along the right side. Couldn't quite finish it off, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, but the drops were good. The upgrades were good. His expansions were good. His ability to produce additional gateways and robotics facilities were good. And yeah, that's what you got to do. Storm's on point too. So well done by Shuttle APM of 213 on average throughout the game and 310 for Corsair. All right, let's take out. Uh, let's check out the final stats. Wow, Corsair produced 1,095 units. That's a lot of Zerglings that died. A lot. 972 of them died. Wow. Resources. Uh, fairly even across the board here. It looks like Corsair did mine more and spend more. But not by much 
honestly. It was just cost efficiency. Was, they kind of had the same resources here, but when you kill 972 versus 200, uh, it's, a rough, it's a rough go of things if you're Corsair there. All right, so that is going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with another StarCraft Brood War Remastered Upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.